Early modern European medals were usually made in one of two ways. Medals could be struck in a process similar to that used to make coins since antiquity. This video demonstrates the second method, casting, a technique probably used to make some of the earliest portrait medals, such as this medal depicting the Renaissance noblewoman, Cecilia Gonzaga. Cecilia's portrait is on the front, or obverse, and the reverse presents a night scene of a woman and a unicorn, an allegory of chastity. To make a metal like this one, first a model is shaped in wax. To make a mold, sand, clay, or even old molds are finely ground and mixed with a liquid binder. Then, half of a box frame or flask is placed on a flat surface and tightly packed with the wet sand. The wax model is pressed firmly into the sand. The surface is dusted to prevent the two halves from sticking together. The other half of the frame is packed with sand. The mold is left to dry. Once dry, the model is removed. There's now an impression, also called a negative, where the model used to be. A channel is cut into the mold so that molten metal can be poured in. Smaller channels will allow hot gas to escape. The mold is shut again and secured. There is now an empty space inside the mold that has the shape of the model. Metal such as lead, bronze, silver, or gold is placed in a container called a crucible and melted over very high heat. The molten metal is poured into the mold, filling the metal-shaped hollow inside. Once cool, the mold is opened, revealing the cast metal. The metal that filled the main channel is cut off. Sprues, formed when metal enters the smaller channels, are also removed. After brushing, the metal is finished with tools in a process called chasing. To create the desired patina, or surface quality, Chemicals can be brushed onto the heated metal to react with its surface. Various methods may be used until the desired surface is achieved.